Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Truth Council 23 with me, your sister friend, Truth Nunez, and spiritual advisor. Welcome, my lovies, to this collective energetic read and our beautiful spiritual council. We can't forget about our beautiful spiritual council, my lovies. Um, don't forget your ancestors, my lovies. Don't forget the, uh, the, the veil is thin at this particular time. It always really is. It's just an illusion, but the illusion breaks down a little bit. Moon energy. Uh, during this time so for some of you fasting energy for some of you fasting uh, maybe that's gonna help you um uh, maybe if you're, for some of you, if you are fasting, um, your throat chakra is clearing quite a bit, my lovies. Um, a lot of pain in the throat chakra energy for some of you. But anyways, um, welcome, my lovies. Welcome to our day ones, our new subscribers, and everyone in between. We got healing in the throat chakra, my lovies. Speaking our truths, being our truths, speaking our truths, being our truths, speaking our truths, being our truths. Something about Arturo. Anyways, something about Arthur, my lovies. Something about MacArthur. Um, something about McKinley. Something about McKinney, Texas in the house, my lovies. Dang, but welcome. Welcome, my lovies. Welcome to our day ones, our new subscribers, and everyone in between, my lovies. Thank you so much for being here, allowing us to co-create this space together from so many different weathers, distances, backgrounds, religions, spiritual beliefs, uh, um, economic, socioeconomic states of life. Look at us, my lovies. You're here with your spiritual wife. Look at you. Look at you. Look at Cruz. Look at something about Cruz. Something about a cruiser. Something about a PT cruiser for some of you. Welcome, everybody. Something about an officer. Welcome, everybody, my lovies. You're all welcomed here. Come in peace. I come in peace. Somebody's going to wave the white flag. But um, something about Flagstaff. Anyways, my lovies, um, I want to uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you because we are almost at 11,000 subscribers, my lovies. Um, thank you so much for your likes, your shares, your comments, your subscribes. Thank you for your super chats. Thank you for your contributions. Thank you for always... Um, Thank you just for always being there. For some of you, I feel like I've known you since I was born because I have. Um, something about the born identity. But um, something, about, uh, something about a crisis. Something about a financial crisis for some of you. But it's something about ISIS. Um, boom. Something about ISIS is coming in for some of you. Oh, Mother ISIS is coming in. I'm getting ISIS in many different ways. So take that how that resonates for you. But, um, but welcome, my lovies. Welcome. Dang, isn't that interesting? The divine mother energy in a financial crisis isn't that interesting isn't that interesting anyways for some of your mama could be going through a financial crisis um or a mother figure um or a divine feminine in your life but um or you as a divine feminine or you as a you know take that however that resonates for you but isn't that interesting my lovies we have a whole system um isn't that interesting Anyways, for some of you, something's really interesting. You're you're really pondering upon something and it's really affecting your throat chakra. So it's maybe realigning you after a misalignment in a belief system of truth. Very interesting. You're creating a new truth for yourself. How interesting. Something about troops. Something about state troopers. Anyways, my lovies. Something about, I don't know, for some of you, it's like, I'm seeing like honoring and something about, um, okay, I am seeing for some of you, you're watching a lot the presidency or the, or that's important to you for some reason. I mean, for, for a lot of people, but um, it's a bit about translation software. But anyways, my lovies, uh, let's get started by honoring and thinking. You're coming in with a lot of, uh, for some of you, you're in deep, um, someone's in deep regret for some, but, um, or someone around you or someone connected to you. And um, it has to do with speaking a truth or uh, living in a truth or being a truth or something, um, something, there's a cry in the throat chakra. Jeez, what is this, my lovies? Bone by a goot. Anyways, moving on. On, gotta be strong gotta move on my lovies dang <laughs> it is done what is it's done my lovies um let's give thanks let's give thanks to the all to um to um god almighty let's start my lovies uh to my abuelita gladys nunez maldonado to my abuelita Gladys Núñez Maldonado. I want to give thanks to my abuelita Gladys Núñez Maldonado. To my abuelito Félix Antonio Núñez. To my abuelito Félix Antonio Núñez. To my abuelito Félix Antonio Núñez. To my mamá Merced. To my mamá Merced. To my mamá Merced. To Shango. To Shango. To Shango. To Yemaya. To Yemaya. To Yemaya. To Papa Legba. To Papa Legba. To Papa Legba. To Elegua. To Elegua. To Elegua. To Oshun, to Oshun, to Oshun, to Ogun, to Ogun, to Ogun, to La Santa Muerte, to La Santa Muerte, to La Santa Muerte, to Kalima, to Kalima, to Kalima, 
to thee all, to your unconditional love and your mercy, to all of the trusted loving ancestors of all of those co-creating this work, who are the highest messages, the most truthful messages, the most just messages, to thee all, to your unconditional love and your mercy, to all of the trusted loving ancestors of all of those co-creating this work, who are the highest messages, the most truthful messages, the most just messages, to thee all, to your unconditional love and your mercy, to your divine wisdom, to your all-knowing, to your all-being, to your all-seeing power, to all of the trusted loving ancestors of all of those co-creating this work what are the highest messages the most truthful messages the most just messages in love and truth and honor in love and truth and courage in love and truth and wisdom in love and truth and justice in love and truth and honor in love and truth and courage in love and truth and wisdom in love and truth and judgment in love and truth and honor in love and truth and courage in love and truth and wisdom in love and truth and mercy what is up what is up what is up hot stuff how's it flowing my lovies how's it going my lovies what's popping what's cracking we're reading for my darlings reading for my darlings reading for my darlings it is true we're reading for you and we love you you know that is true my lovies let's do it my lovies get to it my lovies do it my lovies get to it my lovies my lovies guess what <laughs> we got a strawberry refresher today my favorite is the melon burst <laughs> but this one's good this one's good too so about starburst for some of you, you like starburst welcome my lovies one 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 cup one come one come something about rent them uh you're going out for food uh, for some of you, you're going out for food for some of you, you're going out to the outlets you're going shopping my lovies dang my lovies dang guess what my lovies guess what two more days to your sister wife for life for spiritual advisor spiritual shrink my lovies your lovey um two more days till my birthday october 30th it all started <laughs> um but um for uh we we haven't talked about it we only talked about it once um anyone who books from here to the 30th, maybe the 31st, maybe we'll do it till the day of the muerto. Anyways, uh, if you want to do um, an ancestral read, if you want to do uh, a spiritual read with your spiritual wife for life, um, you could book in the Calendly link and I will include a special little care package for you with every uh consultation i will go ahead and i will uh include a special a special uh little gift a little care package for you because i adore you my lovies um so let spirit adorn you um welcome my lovies welcome to everybody so again anyone who uh have books a consultation we will go ahead and we will uh do a uh special little gift for you because i adore you um boom Let's get started, my lovies. Let's get started. Um, we are reading for, we're reading for the 29th, uh, 2024, uh, October 29th, 2024. Keeping in mind, we're reading for whenever spirit needs us to read for. There are endless ways to tell time. We just use the Gregorian tri trial, a uh, trial. There's going to be a trial. Um, we just use the Gregorian time frame to frame time in a specific way. Uh, you're going to slay though. You're going to slay for some of you. Someone's a slave. For some of you, there's an envious person who stalks you all the time. Who's a slave to you. They're in literally devil energy. They have succumbed to your charm. Even if someone's always like watching, talking shit about you, um, they're really not noticing how they're obsessed with you. Like someone actually, for some of you, there's a hidden enemy who's actually an obsessed person with you. Um, they uh, copy everything you do. They admire everything you do. And then they try to, that's kind of sad because they're, they're attacking their teacher. It's like someone watches you. It's like if you're a pre something about a preacher, if uh, something about a preacher's kid, if um, they are watching you, um, whatever you're doing, if they're watching you at work, someone's a sociopath. If they're watching you at something about Kathy, here we go with Kathy and catheter. Um, if they're watching you, if they're watching everything you do, know that you have this person is your biggest fan. They are watching all of your plans. They want to see everything you do. They will never, They someone tries to be like you. They try to imitate you. <laughs> you got a coffee cat in the field. There's like everything that you say, they try to talk like you. They try to walk like you. But then on the other side of it, they also try to someone suicidal so here we go with this because they have false idols they try to like mock you mimic you um someone even tries to like attack but it sounds so 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 weird because they mimic everything you do and they want to be just like you 
and everybody can see it. So someone would do themselves justice by relinquishing the devil, like giving up their false idol. Someone worships you, my lovies. For some of you, you have someone, they don't see it this way, but everybody sees it this way. For some of you, you could be like talking to somebody or this could be you having a conversation with someone and or someone's having like an intervention because I think for some, like someone's actually kind of like, this almost feels like for some of you, it's not that, it's almost like a real obsessed, envious if this is like in a co-working space, this is someone who's always up in your face, always trying to make things like more difficult, but they're watching everything you do and they love everything you do, but they will never say that. What they will say is, I fucking hate that itch. I this, that, um, I, I, you know, why does that person even have their title? Why do they even have their job? Someone's questioning your credentials as well. <laughs> This is coming in for some of you. Something justice though. Uh, 29 energy. You could be dealing. This is secret. This is, a, this is a high priestess in the reverse though. For some of you, like someone tries to manipulate things. I'm getting like someone, like if you're giving a speech at work, this person is turning 11 11 this person is turning everything you say negative like they're secretly like doing negative affirmations that are destroying their own mental health. Because again, if you're always having coveting they covet your life someone covets your life my love you did you know this someone, someone, someone covets. so they're not otis this could be a crazy ass person you used to talk to or an ex-friend or an ex sex friend i don't know they're so irrelevant though they covet everything you do my lovies I'm just a messenger here. Everything you say, they want to turn it, something about uh, Tribeca. Here we go with this Tribeca. They want to turn it like negative. It's like if you are giving, a, again, if you're like talking about like, financial reports and you're like yes we had a great you know uh i had this great because for some of you you're, you're like a top performer <laughs> it's just it's just your energy it's just your energy so you're like yeah i had this great sale they're like no the fuck you didn't like but underneath their 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 breath or something like that it's like someone's a delusional like and they don't they have no somebody out of contortionist is coming in it's like if you do a yoga pose i'm seeing like i'm seeing this um someone can have like a commercial i'm seeing like someone doing like yoga poses it's like if you're talking about like stretching for the benefits like the benefits of stretching and someone's like you're just fucking slut that's why you stretch like that it's like and they'll say it under their breath or some crazy i'm getting like for some again you know some people live in insane asylums <laughs> like in their own life in their own life <laughs> they are so everything they turn everything you say negative and then they project out onto you their negativity inside of themselves but this is someone who is always watching you if they don't if that's not a clue for them that maybe it's like let me take back my power let me stop watching this person so much someone's out of touch though <laughs> anyway and again they're projecting everything they are onto you so someone could be calling you someone who's out of touch and they're the ones that are out of touch with their own reality it's like go focus on you my lovey what are you doing <laughs> it's like screwing i don't know anyways my loveys that's in the field for some of you two high priestess energy male or female i'm seeing males and females in this energy so two energy again it's an energy energy two energy high priestess energy you could be intuiting this you already know and you have psychic protection anyways because you have that nine energy you have the wisdom of a hermit for some of you for some of you something about kermit the frog um you could be very like isolated you could be taking time to yourself uh you could just be very wise um you could be older for some of you and if you're not older you have a lot of life lessons under underneath your belt when it comes to a situation i was getting six sigma for some of you uh six sigma energy you could be very well trained in something or you could be showing new procedures osha has been very present for some of you so this could be at work where it's like someone or for some of you this could actually be someone who feels like they deserve the title over you someone who has all types of false idols they deserve this over you because um whatever they think they've been through they think that they deserve it more than you this is what's coming in for some of you there's like a little bit of a battle in a situation because you're doing really well <laughs> and everyone someone feels like you're doing spell work on people what is this 
<laughs> someone thinks you're doing spell work like you have some type of charm i don't know it's like if you have crystals again you come here for a reason it's like if you have crystals if you burn sage they think that's witchcraft they think you're doing something funky like someone thinks something about the year of the monkey something about the year of the ox something about the year of the dog something about the chinese zodiac could be significant someone could be from china you could be chinese someone thinks for some of you is like if you have long hair that smells really good for some of you you just wash your hair or you wash your hair every day for some of you and you have beautiful long silky hair they think that you're doing something i don't know something about your hair is coming in especially if you have like long straight silky hair that smells really good like someone thinks you're doing <laughs> for some of you you have this mystery about you and people something about a mystery man someone thinks you have a mystery man or a mystery woman it's like no i'm the charm uh god the energy in me that god has granted something about my lanta i don't know something about atlanta i don't know you're spicy my love for me you got your own show it's like you just show out you are natural and authentic someone thinks you're inauthentic it's like they switch everything around because they're so envious they don't see it that way but that's what it is my lovies if you didn't have haters i would tell you i know haters that don't have haters and think that people are hating on them it's like you gotta start to see someone thinks again for some of you someone's making fake accounts someone's making fake accounts for some of you someone's making fake accounts thinking you're making fake accounts it's like but i'm never contacting you though that doesn't that give you a clue <laughs> something about dj clue <laughs> anyways nine energy virgo energy someone's been investigating you secretly is like trying to investigate you investigate who <laughs> you're a delusional 11 energy justice libra energy karmic scales are balancing in a situation someone failed at something they don't see themselves, for some of you, this is someone, there are people that they see themselves as the villain and they accept that they are the villain. So about penicillin. <laughs> this could be a family member for some of you. Take it how it resonates. It's like there are people that they know they're the villain in the story and they don't give two fucks. I love villains like that. You know why? Because they know where they stand. They're not, they're delusional in their own, they're, they're not, it's like, I have more respect for a villain that it's like, I don't give a fuck. I'm a villain. We know where that's going to go, but they're a villain for this show. They're a villain for this season. Maybe for some of you, something's like that. I don't know. Something's about seasons. For some of you, you're on a show or your, your, fa your father, your father's on a show for some of you. It's like, there's a villain. There's a villain. And it's like, someone think they're not the villain though for some of you there's someone who does not feel they are the villain in a story and everyone's looking at them like <laughs> you are you're the villain you're the villain it's all right penicillin someone has uh, allergic reactions for some especially someone for some of you someone has a uh, um they 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 have to uh someone's allergic for some of you someone's allergic to seafood for some of you someone's allergic to uh sea everything from the sea shells celsius celsius the the metric system could be significant for you i'm seeing big ben and i'm seeing some the name benjamin could be significant though someone thinks they're not the villain and it's like you are you've been the villain in fact you're far like far gone for some of you someone's a little bit more like extreme in their villain spectrum and also delusions of thinking they're not the villain for others it's like how do you plan a fucking murder and not think you're the villain for some of you again i'm getting a few different energies take what resonates and leave what doesn't how do you plan someone's murder that's innocent and you've made up all these bullshit lies that it's like it, this is all illusion we're seeing nothing if for some of you this is a crowd seeing someone that's like everything you said was a lie the lie detector determined that you lied <laughs> ulysses yuli something about julia something about juliet something about marietta <laughs> whoa it's like whoa whoa it's about angelo it's like whoa you know what spirit was giving us um when i was younger um i remember there were so in the dominican my father got held up at a uh, gunpoint and um apparently how the story goes is his brother put a hit on him 
Maybe for some of you, this is a delusional brother or a family member who uh, maybe they didn't put a hit on you. But for some of you, you know, all of all types of energies have come here. Um, but um, this is a delusional brother for some of you or a family member. But Spirit's giving us specifically, because this one came in, in download this morning um, when we found out that, um, you know, my father survived but um uh and he thrived after but um maybe for some of you something has to do with a father figure and a family situation and a hitman and figuring out who put the hit on who um we've seen that for some of you something about the who nab coup someone's into the who nab coup for some of you if you know you know for some of you you know what i'm talking about um but um for others i can put a link in the description box i've shared um a good introduction to the who nab coup for some of you is actually the foundation for the law of time.org um i can also put that in the description box actually i'll put that in the um in the comment section so you can find it Maybe Maybe in the description box is better. Yeah. Thank you, my lovies. And something about a newsletter. But um, Spirit was giving us a download how, um, again, the memory of my of of that situation that happened with my blood father. And uh, when I talked to him about it, he's like, nobody was going to fucking kill me. Uh, but um, they did send this 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 hit man. I'm telling you, again, the more the more I get to meet different people, I'm like, people think hit men and hit women are like the sexy um people you see and they always try to make the things look sexy it's like the stalkers that you see for example with the 50 shades of gray it's usually not in real life i'm like these are fucking creepy people hit men and hit women some you know it depends it's the caliber of the person but a lot of these people some people are fucking drug addicts uh, uh alcoholics i don't know for some of you somebody sends some type of fucking uh silly willy uh hit man or hit woman to kill somebody <laughs> like schizophrenics um i'm just a mess of psychopathic people it's like how do you kill an innocent person for a delusional how do you kill an innocent person for a diddler this is what's coming in for some of you Someone that wants to inherit money and put out a fucking illegal insurance policy on somebody who's innocent and was nothing but loving to them. That person needs rehabilitation. They don't need freedom to go fucking hire hit men and hit women. 22 and 11. Everything is coming in for a reason. Someone thought someone was sent from heaven. It's about Kevin. We got conversations with us. Light skin, light skin people were very present, but light skin, dark skin, take it how it resonates. In the preliminary, in the baraja, the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles represent light skin men, light skin women, but take this how it resonates. But you have a conversation here and it's going to be success. You're going to be talking to a light skin man for some of you and there's going to be success when it comes to a situation. This light skin man is very well meaning. For some of you, again, there could be someone who is seething. For some of you, someone's trying to, something about Steven as well someone's trying to like talk sense into a, a psychopath someone may not have noticed someone may have love for a psychopath for some of you again you know i know a lot of people that i'm like why did you not press charges this is attempted murder but it's because you love the person i know a lot of women like this i know a lot of men like this too it's like you broke up with a psychopath that tried to kill you you didn't press charges Anyways, everything is coming in for a reason. You got a conversation here for some of you. Maybe you're talking son. son. For some of you trying to talk to your son. Or there's a, a son situation for some. You're trying to talk some sense into somebody. That is like, you've gone far and you're fuck buddy. For some of you, someone's paired up with, you know, their side piece. Who's a psychopath too. You know, like, like delusional Bonnie and Clyde energy for some of you. Again, this could be a family member. This could be an ex for some of you. This energy, someone likes to play with hex work for some of you. <laughs> anyway, someone's trying to talk sense into somebody. It's like, they feel bad pressing charges. Somebody feels bad an attempted murder scheme, though. Seven of Diamonds energy. Someone could be visiting you at home. For some of you, someone could be at a distance from you. For some of you, there are international. Some Something about Celt, Tel, Celtics for some of you. Boston could be significant. Celtics. Something about the Celtic cross for some of you. Some, something about a lacrosse team. For some of you, a secret society is coming in. You could be having conversations with your brethren. For some of you, could be actually traveling for work, especially if you work in sports. And there's travels here for some of you. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. We're getting a few different energies. For some of you, there could be someone at a distance from you or someone where the metric system is uh working for some of for some of you you're gonna go somewhere because you have to work in another country and for some of you so they're all hungry some of the ukraine is someone sick sick someone sick a schizophrenic person is very sick for some of you and for some of you someone's just sick for some of you, you may not be feeling too well 
Here we go with the stuffy nose energy again, but it's clearing. For some of you, something is clearing. For some of you, something about clearance. For some, some of you, security clearance is coming in. You need security clearance or you have security clearance for some of you. They've been caught. It's like official now. Something feels like very official now. Holy cow. We got happiness. We have a, a see ya. A see ya. But someone... Okay, Assyria. A seer. A serial, a serial, a serial killer for some. Here we go with the serial killer energy. We got the, the last couple of days have been intense, my love. is going on. Well, let's get it on. Five of Pentacles. You have a gift coming in for some of you. Have happiness. For some of you have happiness. Dance and discos. For some of you, someone has an accent. A sea. Somebody's saying it like that. Um, five of Pentacles energy. We have a gift. For some of you have a gift coming in. For some of you, dang, money, honey, sunny, money. Money, sunny, money, sunny, 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 money. You have, um, boom. You got a lot of money going into a bed. For some of you, you could be buying new furniture. Um, something about expelli, uh, uh, expelli, uh, for some of you, Harry Potter's in the field. So what about Harry Potter needs to yield? <laughs> Harry Potter, someone's playing Harry Potter. Um, we have a gift here for some of you. Someone is sick. Four of uh, four of cups in La Baraja is a sickness. So somebody is sick. You could be feeling under the weather. It's nothing too serious here. For some of you, you could be spending a lot of money. You need to get maybe for some of you like antibiotics, things of that sort. My Lanta was also present in the express messages. So for some of you, maybe my Lanta, antacids. Someone is trying to work their anger in their stomach, but um, they're sick. For some of you, sinus issues are present. Uh, for some of you, maybe the, the hocus pocus backfired on somebody, especially someone who was playing Harry Potter. I'm getting a man. So you could be talking to a man who was trying to play Harry Potter and their spell work backfired, so they're sick. You could be hearing, you know, they're like, I'm under the weather, I'm not feeling well, because they were manipulating something. For some of you, someone was just being malicious. Maybe for some of you, again, this is in, some about a nutritionist, maybe this is in a work situation for some of you, where somebody was like, again, using negative affirmations and it keeps backfiring on them. They wonder why they're having stomach issues, back problem issues, lumbar spine issues. I wonder why. This is like, some about why no? Someone's being, something about an albino is coming in. Um, something about Winona. So they're all Harris. Anyways, for some of you, we have a little bit of a disillusion here as well. If you're expecting some money, it may not be the money that you expected. It's almost like for some of you, if you, you know what I'm getting. For some of you have spending accounts and your spending accounts may not be, may not cover everything you thought it was going to cover. Or you don't have something about an undercover. Maybe you don't have enough, an explorer just pulled up. So for some of you, definitely undercover energy. Maybe for some of you, it's like, I don't have enough. Like I thought that I had more in my spending account. So I can't really cover my, my treatment, whatever that treatment is for you. I think you're going to be okay and something about DJ Clue someone's thinking a lot for some of you something has to do with a child maybe or an innocent person for some of you maybe it has to do with your vet your vet for some of you your vet for some of you a vet something about a veterinarian is coming in for some of you you're a vet or you deal with animals anyways for some of you something has to do with animals for some of you animal rights were very very present the other day I was channeling the energy of people that really care about animal rights Maybe for some of you, you care about your pet quite a bit, but something is too expensive. If you have a sick pet for some of you, you're trying to weigh the pros and the cons because you're thinking a lot. You haven't take, taken action. Something about Toby, something about Tobias, something about Bobby, something about Bobo, something about Bobo the Clown. For some of you, something has to do with your child. You're worried about a sick child. We have seen that as well. Spell work backfiring on children for some of you. Not the natural. Children also have natural evolution periods where they have fevers and things of that sort. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about a, a, a little bit more sickness, especially congestion. Something's affecting the chest of a child. A lot of mucus in the lungs for a child for some. I'm feeling it, something on fung, especially in the the left side. Something is very, a child is having like circulation issues for some. Respiratory issues for some. <clears throat> Forgive us because sometimes we have no idea what we do. 
two of swords energy i am getting it something about vicariously someone's living vicariously through you or you're living vicariously through somebody for some of you you're going on an adventure of some sort and somebody's telling you like i live vicariously through you or people want you to know for some of you that they live vicariously through you we got two of swords energy something that you don't see these could be people you don't see but in the baraja these are street travels so not too far from where you live you will be traveling there will be satisfaction there will be uh spending so you are definitely spending a lot of money for some of you you're spending a lot of money on medical treatments um you have to give money to a gentleman for some of you there's a gentleman if somebody owed you money or you owe somebody money take this however it resonates there's a gentleman here someone's paying them the money they owe them for some of you um if you have a situation with a child or something affecting your child or someone owes you money for a child, there will be a payment here. In three days, my lovies, or in five weeks for some of you. Yep, the number five comes out right after. In three days or five weeks. Anywhere from three days to five weeks. Someone's not doing okay with money, my lovies. So for some of you, if you're trying to put pressure on somebody, especially if it's the father of your child for some of you, or you as the father of a child, you could be feeling like someone's trying to put a lot of pressure on you. And um, I feel you, my lovies, because um, it looks like money is not okay. For some of you, money's not that great right now. Money is not that great right now. And someone's in depression as well. Someone's, for some of you, there's a family member standing in depression. For some of you, something about a summons. You got a family member here standing in depression and someone may have to post bail for some of you. In the evening time, someone is thinking quite a bit. For some of you, you are spending time with your child. You're spending time with your family in the evening time. You have an official person. I feel a summons here. You have a lawyer here. You have a professional here. You have you as a professional in the evening time. You have money for, for some of you, someone has to pay money like a bail situation. Um, something about a bailiff, something about a plaintiff. We have a bind. We have a legal bind here yep absolutely for some of you we have a contract when it comes to work and an agreement when it comes to work for some of you there could be performance improvement plans when it comes to work for some of you there's a contract when it comes to work for some of you, you could be dealing with for some of you you could be dealing with something about upwork for some of you you could be hiring a graphic designer you could be hiring someone on upwork for some of you we have a dark-skinned man here we got a bunch of men we have a lot of men and we have three 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 or around a professional man it's gonna make you very happy for some of you, someone's going to be a father. They're coming in as a Luciferian. As a little bit of a Rastafarian. Is going to be a father. Uh, they're not happy with this father. For some of you, you'll be finding out um, someone is going to be a father and they're not happy. Someone could already have a bunch of children or someone's going to ha handle it. Handle it. Hannah handle it something about a handler something about chandler something about chantal chantal or chantel here we go with this stuffy nose again my lovies if you're feeling stuffy noses my lovies for some of you spirits showing us like um if you don't have like one of those they they sell those like the not the dehumidifiers but like you know the steamers but if not just boil some water and put some eucalyptus oil in there and then like kind of like use that to steam your your yourself a little bit for some of you maybe go to the steam room maybe for some of you go to the gym and go into the sauna and sweat this out a little bit or someone around you you could recommend this take this however this resonates but for some of you that's coming in something about limes Drinking a lot of lime juice for some, fresh lime, squeezing it into water, maybe a little bit of honey in there, a honey, not of honey, a honey, someone says a little bit of honey, a little bit of honey for some. Someone's worried about their money though. For some of you, there's a family member who's worried about their money because they already have a lot of children. For some, somebody has a lot of children. For some of you, somebody's gonna have up to nine children or someone can have up to nine children. Something about six to nine for some. For some of you, you have someone you love that's worried about going to prison. And they are. They're going to go to prison. They're, they're standing in prison. 
Someone standing in prison, my love. He's like, I gotta tell you what I gotta tell you. Um, and they're not happy. They're not gonna be happy. They're gonna be depressed. But it's like, you were obsessed with doing shit that, you know? <sighs> Something about un desayuno. Breakfast in Spanish. I'm, I'm getting like a Dominican and the, the Dominican breakfast. Like longanisa and stuff like that. Something about the Mona Lisa. For some of you, you're going to be very happy and you have high honors in the evening time when it comes to a work situation and an arrangement. You could be closing, again, a very important deal for you. You could be getting a bonus for you. It is bonus season for some of you. For some of you, you could have a very generous boss that wants to do something very nice. They want to floss. Somebody wants to, like, like something on an expense report, something on an expenditure. They want to, like, expense something. For some of you, you as a boss could be doing something very nice, like a holiday party or getting things prepared. For some of you, people are in very generous energy for some reason. Generosity, reciprocity. Something about your company values for some of you. Something about volume is coming in. The name Vaughn was very significant. Something about a savant. Something about Savannah. Um, the name Vaughn came in um, last night. Yesterday too. Actually, the same has been in and out the last week or so. The name Vaughn. The name Vince. The name Vincent. Someone's going to try to convince somebody. They're going to be sad. Six of Swords. Someone's so, someone's going to be a dad as well. Some of their gonads. They're, um, someone's really depressed. Someone's clinically, for some of you, you know, take it how it resonates to each his or her own. I'm not trying to diagnose anybody, but usually when this energy comes in, it comes in with someone who is clinically depressed. They were obsessed with doing something, and now I think somebody, because they're going to prison. Someone's really sad because they're going to prison. For some of you, something about a rapper is coming in. Highway. Because uh, they wanted it their way. Now they got to take the highway. It's like the highway or the my way. My way or the highway type of energy. And someone's like, God's like, chill. Chill. You're going to foot the bill. Chill. Someone could also be, like, very proud. For some of you, something about rolling loud. Someone could be very proud. Like, they're, like, trying to show, like, they don't care. Someone's sad. They are so sad. And they're going to be a dad. Something about Sosa. They're going to be a dad. Something about Viginoma. Villanoma. Something about a vigilante. Something about up the ante. Somebody wants to up the ante. Something about Annie up. Do, do, do. Annie up. Do, 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 do. Look. Cutie patooties. I envy is a, is a hell of a fucking toxic thing to have. I will never understand it. Never. Never. Trevor. I will never understand it. I see youth in this energy. Young people in this energy, they learned it from their parents. That energy came in. People teaching their children how to be bad, how to bully people, how to be fucking stalkers. Like, dang. And I wonder, Chicago could be significant, if you know what it means. So obscene. Something about Christine. We got the number nine. We got the number one. Something about Christina. We got the number six. And we have the number two. And the number five kind of wants to peek in from time to time. So for some of you, there could be a religious institution. For some of you, you could be going to church or you're someone who doesn't go to church all the time. Like you peek in from time to time or uh, something that has to do with uh, your spiritual practice. For some of you, there could be like a yoga studio that you go to from time to time. Uh, there could be, for some of you, um, a religious uh, temple that you go to from time to time. You're not consistent with it. For some of you, you are shifting belief systems or you're having like a shift five energy kind of wants to hide or a Taurus wants to hide from you or wants to peek in from time to time for some reason for some of you you could be reconnecting with someone or Taurus season is going to be very significant May is going to be significant for you you could be like kind of planning for the spring for some of you or for next summer but it's like right now it's kind of like I don't want to plan that far but for some of you you need to plan that far when it comes to a situation we have nine so we have Virgo energy an ending of a situation you have a transformation happening an ending of a contract for some of you a divorce a separation you could be going through some oh you've completed a chapter here for some of you 
For some of you, there could be actually a separation, but you're uncertain. Uh, something for some of you, there's a drawn out divorce or separation in your field. Um, or, uh, or maybe it's something about a coalition is coming in. So there could be a group of people that were committed together to doing something, but now there's like a separation. But from time to time, you're still check you're checking in. Something about Shayla, something about checks, something about checks, something about Czechoslovakia, Czech Czechoslovakia, Jesus some about Turkey. One, we have, uh, maybe for some of you, a Czechoslovakian is going to check in with you around Thanksgiving. We have one energy, a new beginning. We have six energy. Uh, we have um, work situations, new beginnings when it comes to work collaborations. And we have two energy. So there's a state of duality, definitely, again, checking in from time to time with people. For some of you, it's like a temperature check or you're seeing where somebody's at. For some of you, you could be a hierophant or there's a doctor involved in a situation. So I am getting that for some of you. And you're trying to like check in like, where is this person at? Where is their, their space at, their mental space at? You're trying to check in from time to time. Um, we do have um, one energy. So January is very important for you or you're planning for January. A Capricorn could be significant for you. Uh, an Aquarius could be significant for you. Six energy, Gemini for you, Cancer energy. We have nine energy, Virgo, Libra energy. We have two energy, again, more Aquarius energy. We also have Pisces energy there. And again, five energy, Taurus energy and um, Gemini. Strong Gemini strength, strength. Uh, spirits asking a Gemini to have strength in a situation or you as a Gemini are requiring strength. Leo energy. Someone's very sad. Oh, yeah, yeah. Someone's really sad. They could not be expressing this. And this fell over Virgo. So this could be falling over like an investigation, <sighs> an isolation, prison for some. I, you know, the hermit doesn't always come in that way, but it is coming in with very like isolation, hibernation stuff, um, or prison for some, we did see that earlier. Um, someone, the hermit also in ancient tarots and certain tarots, it brought in the energy of a traitor or a betrayer, Saturn energy, very difficult lessons to be learned. It's okay. My lovies gonna let it burn. Um, August 23rd through September 22nd. We got Leo energy over Leo. We have three, five, nine, and eight. Leo energy for some of you as a Leo, you could be um, dismissing or getting out of a hibernation period or stop stopping something that has to do with a Virgo energy or take that however that resonates. Taurus energy, five energy, eight energy, and three energy, 35, 53, eight. For some of you, you could be seeing very clearly about an 88 situation. So about the crazy 88. For some of you, you could be seeing very clearly about an organization of people. For some of you, if you are in detective energy or investigative energy, you're seeing very clearly about a, a clan, a group. I'm getting the KKK. Take that how it resonates. The crazy 88, when they fought uh, via, 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 something about Nvidia, something about envy, envidia in Spanish, something about Viacom. Three, uh, an empress energy, five energy, a belief system of people, Taurus energy, eight energy, strength energy, Leo energy. March could be significant, May, more May energy, um, August for some of you, Virgo, Leo energy, Taurus, Gemini energy, Pisces, Aries energy, and Aries wants to hide. But you're seeing clearly in your in creative spirits for some of you, your health is important at this particular time. Again, for some of you, health treatment is very important at this particular time. We have cancer energy. Um, excuse me, July 23rd through August 22nd. We have Ju uh, Julia. We have uh, something about Julian. We have uh, six, and I'm getting Julian in many different ways. Six, um, 6.30, for some of you, 6.30. Uh, for some of you, you have to catch a flight somewhere. Um, June 22nd through July 22nd, we have your home. Cancer energy, we have home here. We have interest when it comes to home. We have a division, when it, we have a wish granted when it comes to home. I'm getting wishbone. You're going to get a wish granted when it comes to your home for some of you. Um, we have 
Aries and Pisces sharing the brunt of something. So sharing the brunt at work, especially when it comes to hidden things, the moon energy projections, fears, again, projecting into the future though, for some of you about uh, authority figures, a father figure for some of you. There is a projection happening unconsciously for some of you. We do have um, March 21st all the way through March 20th for some of you self and the subconscious for some of you again there could be a father or a patriarchy or someone who's very dominant in a situation um having a lot of like unconscious processes and again mental health for some of you especially when it comes to a masculine energy that's important to you uh we have capricorn uh we have career focus we have uh december 22nd through january 19th for some of you there's a big drop when it comes to your career especially uh from december 22nd all the way to january 19th there's going to be big big changes a big drop uh for some of you it could be dropping something like something written for some of you a lot of writing is coming in something in writing needs to be dropped off for some of you a drop box for some of you uh you know what i'm getting the where you drop off dvds that's coming in for some of you anyways so don't get on your knees um for some of you you could be actually like dropping and getting on your knee like i am getting like an engagement for some of you uh we have scorpio energy a major transformation Something about a transgender is coming in. For some of you, you know somebody or there's somebody in your field that could be going through like, um, you know, to each his or her own. I just describe it the way I describe it because it's important. Um, someone, Someone's in porno for some. Someone's going to be like going through like a, they're going to be cutting off their penis or they're going to be... Uh, that's how it's coming in. For some of you, someone's going through some type of transformation like that, especially someone who's in porno or they want to do porno or they want to take their porno to the next level. This is what's coming in. So about Neville, take that how that resonates. That's coming in for somebody. Anyways, there's a major transformation. Someone is going to go through a major transformation. It's like a death for them. Um, we got Scorpio energy, October 24th through November 21st. For some for some of you, there's... there's um something about sickle cell disease for some of you if there are diseases especially like anything that has to do with cancer someone's gonna go through like a something about melanoma melanoma was very present yesterday so somebody can be going through like a major treatment and they are going to cure themselves from a major disease that's coming in for some take what resonates leave what doesn't again always going to your medical professional but i'm reading energies we got um Libra energy. We have two partnerships coming in or two partnerships that were that started in uh September. Someone spiritually retarded for some um two partnerships that started in September. So for some of you September 23rd through October 23rd, two important partnerships in your field um that you need to tend to, that you need to. For some of you it has to do with your heart chakra energy, something about Rosetta Stone, something about rose crayons, something about rose quartz. For some of you you could be selling like something about geometry, something about sacred geometry. So somebody you, you could be practicing different spiritual practices and you've been putting that into work and you've done that since like September for some of you and spirit wants you to continue to grow that. That's all we have. You know that you know that for some of you you're very uh, spiritually inclined very in tune something something about you you march to the beat of your own drum or you have your own tune for some of you something about tune up something about turn ups something about turn up <laughs> you want to turn up <laughs> bye bye um okay what else do we have for you i think that's good what say you my lovies i think that's good for today I think that's good because yesterday we gave you a lot. What say you? I say true. You got good news coming in. You got good news coming in. You have encouragement, miracle, and a surprise. You have great news coming in, my lovies. Surprise, mother effers. <laughs> <laughs> anyways that's all we got for you um we said we would do we're gonna do it we're gonna do it we're gonna do it say screw it we're gonna do it we got some stuff to do for you today but i love you my lovies for sentimental reasons and i hope that you believe me i've given this my heart from the start and never shall we part until very soon your sister friend loves you and adores you go spoon loves you and adores you your spirit first oh you gotta feed a baby with a spoon and adores you loves you and or you get to for some of you uh an uncle a loving uncle is coming in and adores you Loves you, Anna, adores you, your spirit friends, and your sister friend, and your spirit friends, and your sister friend. In love, always, in love, always, and forever, ever, ever, ever. Peace.